<sighs> well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face today. Did you ever stop and think about what Jesus says to his disciples in chapter 14 of the book of John? He tells them, of course, uh, don't let your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. He says, in his father's house are many mansions. If it weren't so, he would have told you. Then he says he goes to prepare a place for us. That where he is, there we may be also. If you give much thought to this scenario, try to walk into, and don't really try it, but try to walk into any house where you are uninvited, uh, where you don't know the person. You just took it upon yourself to say, hey, you know, I'd like to go there or I'd like to go in there. Um, I do know some people, and I will just leave this here, but I, I do know some people that would say, hey, let's let's stop at that old house. No one lives there. Let's walk around and look in there. <laughs> and although that may sound like something that could be done, it's probably not something that should be done um, since, since we're not the owners or since we don't know anything about the situation. But could you imagine walking to someone's house and just, uh, walking in unannounced and deciding that this is a place that not only would you like to visit, you'd like to live there. Jesus went to prepare a place for us. We won't be intruders. I mean, there's nothing about me that says that I should ever deserve to call heaven my home. That's his home. He left his throne to come down here. Why? To live in what I considered to be until I was born again, to, to what I considered to be my home. He left his home to come to my home and say to me, you ain't seen nothing yet. I've prepared a place for you. But if you'll believe in me and repent of your sin, you will spend eternity there with me. I do a lot of funerals and speak at a lot of services. and It's such a devastating time for friends and family, loved ones. And of course, people always want the hope that their loved one is going to be in heaven or is going to go. But folks, just like you going to a house where you've never been and you're not invited and you just deciding that you want to be there, that's not going to get it. The door Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm the door. If you're going to enter in, you got to come through him, through Christ. And then he prepares for us that place. Then you are able to receive that. But until then, you're not. Not everybody that dies is going to heaven. I'd rather tell you that now, um, whether you're going to believe me or not, it's going to be the, the job of the Holy Spirit to convince you of that. If you're listening or watching this and you are not a Christian, maybe even you don't want anything to do with God. Well, why would you want to live in his home if you want nothing to do with him? Um, he's going to prepare us a place. You can call it heaven if you want. Squire Parsons says uh, some. Some call it heaven, I call it home. And uh, we'll give this song a shot here today. To all those who uh, have passed recently, their loved ones are left behind here for a while. It's not forever. It's just, i see you later. If they're prepared and you're prepared. But uh, pray that God blesses today. Somewhere beyond the grave 
there is a land. Jesus went to prepare by his own hand. And for the saved by grace, there is a resting place. And in a It will be mine Some call it heaven I call it home Some say I'm dreaming Let me dream on Somewhere beyond the sky there is a resting place, some call it heaven, I call it home. Someone said you can't go back home again, things will not ever be. As good as they've been But I've got good news for you When heaven comes into view Just one glimpse and You'll know that it's true Some call it heaven I call it home Some say I'm dreaming Let me dream on Somewhere beyond the sky There is a resting place Some call it I call it home Some call it heaven I call it home Well, I have tons of songs here and the words to that song are somewhere in there. Sorry, Squire Parsons, if you ever watch this, which I know you won't. <laughs> um, but sometimes I forget some words. I try to try to remember them, but it is what it is, right? Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, I pray that you would watch over and bless, Lord, and give to God the help, Lord, to those who are in need today. Those who are closest to leaving this life, God, I pray that you will draw them to you, Lord, and you will comfort their loved ones today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you back here on Friday.